Hey guys, let's get right into how to lose that gut. Step number one is actually keeping the stomach muscles tight themselves. So if I'm walking around and I happen to have loose tummy muscles, it might look something like this. Okay, so once we tighten those muscles, that would be the first step into keeping our stomach flat and looking good. The main two reasons we want to tighten the tummy and lose our gut is one, aesthetics. Let's face it, we want to impress the ladies, right gentlemen? And then number two, you've probably heard that carrying excess fat, especially around the midsection, there's a correlation with heart disease there. So by doing this stuff, you'll actually live longer as well and enjoy those flat abs along the way. So what I'm going to do is give you two exercises with three different levels so you can progress this. Now, I have the ab crunch accessory, one of my client's favorites attached here. And here's the exercise. I'm going to start with level one. I'm going to jump aboard. Now check it out. My shoulders are going to stay right over my elbows, so I'm using my upper back to control this. But what I'm going to do is, on a huge exhale, pull my knees all the way up into my chest. You see I get a beautiful low back stretch there. Love this exercise. Now check it out. By simply shifting my hips to the left, okay, and then doing the same exercise, now I'm really targeting the left obliques. So those muscles that govern our waistline, keep our, our waistline nice and tight, those are your obliques. Obviously, I would do the other side. Now check it out, level two, all I have to do to make this a lot harder, so I actually might lower this, but for time's sake, I'll just keep going. I'm gonna float my knees and do the same thing. But that turned up the volume about twice as much. Same thing with the obliques, my knees stay floating. But it adds a whole different dynamic. Level three, I'm gonna go all the way up into a pike, so I'm gonna keep my legs straight. It's a lot of fun too. And then for my obliques, I cross my right leg over the left. All right, so there's some great ways to keep your stomach flat. And now let's move on to burning some calories. So the second component is keeping your muscles hungry. That's like your internal furnace. So to properly work your muscles to, with the goal of losing your gut and burning some fat, the intensity is the most important. You probably heard me say this before, but the rule of 10, what that means is when you, whatever exercise you're doing, you choose a level on the total gym where right around 10, 10 repetitions, you are losing good form and starting to hit the wall or hitting fatigue. So I work my chest a lot. I'm gonna demonstrate this with a chest press. So I have it up to level 11, all right? So I, I know this, this exercise pretty well. So my point is, I'm focusing on my chest muscles. And I have this at a level. Pretend I'm like it right around eight. I'm gonna to start to make a little bit of a funny face, making sure that my form is still good though. Ooh, that's number nine. Woo, and I'll just say that's about it. So that's a good, good repetition range. To get to the goal of taxing your muscles enough so you're a little bit sore maybe the next day, that's a good thing. If you're sore, you wanna smile. That means you've actually broken down the muscle. And then guess what? When it builds back, it builds back stronger and more hungry, meaning it's gonna burn more calories and that's what keeps your metabolism up. Next part, we're gonna go into cardio. So interval training is all the buzz in the industry right now. And it's very simple, but studies have shown that in the same amount of time when you're doing interval training, meaning your heart is guessing, it's going up and you're recovering, going up and you're recovering, you're gonna burn about twice as many calories in the same amount of time. Also, doing interval training has been proven to be better for your brain, all the goodies that happen in your brain and your heart. And it really jacks up your metabolism for like the next 24 to 48 hours. So very quickly, Interval training, after I do a good five minute warm up, I'm just gonna, when I'm ready to go, hit it. I do mine for about 30 seconds, but the point is, I wanna go to the intensity where I get to the point where I'm out of breath. And then what do I do? And then I recover. And I recover until I'm back to a cruising speed, the heart rate's still up. 
and then I do it again. And that's how simple interval training is. Now, one of the cool things is you can go online, there's a lot of free ones, and get an interval app. There's tons of them out there, but this is just an example. I hit start. Starting session. Work. It tells me when to go. Starting and, session. And then after the interval is done, it'll tell me when to rest, and then I just don't have to focus on the clock, and I can just use that timer to go. So try those interval trainings. It's going to help you burn a ton of calories. Get that gut all nice and svelte for summer. Keep the questions and comments coming. Until next time, take care.